purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at onpurposely.com. Where is another God like you who pardons the guilt of the remnant, overlooking the sins of his special people? You will not stay angry with your people forever because you delight in showing unfailing love. Once again, you will have compassion on us. You will trample our sins under your feet and throw them into the depths of the ocean. So how do those words make you feel? I feel so grateful right now. So thankful for God's mercy and his grace and his compassion and his kindness to me. I hope you feel the same. It's the Bible for busy people. I'm Erica, and you and I just read a little section from Micah, chapter seven in the Bible. You know it's Friday, so we're gonna be jumping into joy bombs in the Psalms, but I had to open this episode with those words. We have so much to be thankful for. We are forgiven, which means you and I can forgive others. I think of something that Max Lucado said, apple trees bear apples, wheat stalks produce wheat, and forgiven people forgive people. Our Father is the greatest forgiver in the history of the universe of all time, and we are His kids. I want to take after Him, don't you? All right, join me now. We are going to jump right into Psalm 25, beginning in verse 1. Are you ready? This is a Psalm of David last time you and I studied his life together, and we saw that he committed two very grievous sins, and we saw how God redeemed the mistakes he made, and yet there were consequences that followed as well, not just the ones we read about yesterday, but some into the future. And yet David's relationship with God was restored. And I want you to have hope today. No matter what you've done, your relationship with God can be restored because of what Jesus did on the cross. It's why he came. All right, Psalm 25 now. King David writes, Oh Lord, I give my life to you. I trust in you, my God. And you know, Pitching a little tent here for a second. That is something that I have started saying out loud every day. God, I will trust you. God, I'm trusting you. You know, I read a great devotional called Streams in the Desert, and there's a passage in there that says, you can trust the man that died for you. Woo, powerful words. Back to Psalm 25 now and verse three. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced, but disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. All day long, I put my hope in you. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and unfailing love, which you have shown from long ages past. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, for you are merciful, O Lord. I wanted to share one more psalm, Psalm 130. We're going to begin in verse 1. This is a song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem, something I'm going to be doing in the spring of 2024. I can't believe it. I'll have to read this psalm while I'm on the bus riding into Jerusalem. I can't imagine how exciting it's going to be to be in the Holy Land. And you know, by the grace of God, I hope to be sharing all of those adventures with you on this podcast. All right, Psalm 130 now, verse 1, from the depths of despair, O Lord, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O Lord. Pay attention to my prayer. Lord, if you kept a record of our sins, who, O Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to fear you. Okay, I want to mention something here real quick. Elizabeth Elliot talks about the fear of God, that awe and reverence that we are to feel for God. He is our Father but he is the mighty God, right? Listen to the words of Elizabeth Elliot. It's very important that we learn to fear God in order that we may fear nothing else. Doesn't that just click a puzzle piece into place for you? So beautiful. Okay, here we go. Verse five now. 
I am counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. I long for the Lord more than centuries long for the dawn. Yes, more than centuries long for the dawn. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. Did you catch that? His redemption overflows. It's not that he's giving you just enough redemption to squeak by. He's giving you redemption that overflows out of your life into the lives of others. When we are forgiven, we can be forgivers. God enables us to do that. He doesn't give us just a little. He gives us plenty of grace and mercy. So we have leftovers to pour out on other people. That's our God. Let him fill your cup. I hope that after spending the last few days together talking about forgiveness, that you can forgive yourself for whatever you've done and that you're on the road to doing that or on the road to forgiving somebody who has hurt you so much. I know what that feels like on both counts, but we've got a God who just comes in with this ocean of love and grace and mercy and forgiveness. Let him wash away the rest of the bitterness and the fear. He loves you. Rest in his love. Okay? You are really loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.